Hey guys, welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts. Today we're going to work on putting a new radio in my truck. I've already done some of the work as far as wiring the radio and everything. Alright, so obviously the hole where the old radio was, in order to get any access into this, what we're going to have to do is just go up here, reach along the side, and just pull it, and that's going to pop it off. Now, if I wanted to remove the whole thing, I could pull this down, work it all the way around the dash and pull it off, but this is going to be enough so that I can get the new radio in, so I'm going to go grab the new radio. Before I do that though, I'm going to disconnect the negative battery terminal to the battery. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to do in order to put this in is you're going to have to connect the wiring harness from the radio to the wiring harness for your, radio, for your uh, vehicle. This vehicle needed a special one that comes with a chime to go and listen to all the um, dinging and for the door open and stuff like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to strip these wires. All you're going to do is attach the same color to the same color of the other one. I've already done all of the other ones. We just got to do this one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and strip this wire. Just like that. I'm going to strip the other one. Just like that. Then I'm going to grab a butt end connector. To make it a little bit secure, I'm going to fold over just a little bit, make it a little bit fatter. Just like that. I'm going to slide the butt end connector over it. It's going to go in about halfway. And grab my crimper and just go ahead and crimp that. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Slide that in, crimp that one, what the, well I crimped it but it actually cut that, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Connection seems good so we're going to go ahead and go with that. Alright, because I did that, that snap like that, I'm just going to tape this one up as well. And that's just going to make sure that that doesn't come, come apart. Now you could tape all of these to make sure, but I'm pretty good, confident with it. That's fine. Alright, so now that we got it all connected... We needed to get an aftermarket antenna adapter, so we just plugged in the antenna into that and plugged the antenna adapter in. I've gone ahead, I've plugged in my microphone for this in there. We're going to go ahead and feed the um, speaker stuff into the hole and attach the wires to the vehicle, and I'm going to attach the wires to the radio. Now that everything is there, we're just going to tuck all this stuff up in the hole, in the decent little spots where it can hide. We're going to take the radio, I'm going to slide it right down behind everything. And we're just going to slide it right into the into the hole here, pushing all the wires into the back. Oh, look at that!
Um, pull the microphone out for a minute. Get a wire here getting caught. We're just working on getting all the wires into the back cubby hole. I'm just going to slide that in. Then I'm going to take one of the screws that came with it right here. I'm just going to put it into the frame of the vehicle. Now I gotta go grab the screwdriver. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on that one. Now what I want to do is I want to figure out where the, the microphone is going to be best seated. And I'm thinking if I drop it down here, come under, I'm going to try to put it right here. And then we'll feed all the wires through. Tuck all the, the microphone cable in on top. Just like that. Grab one of the other screws, go in here, and we're going to screw that one in. screw, go into that top hole, and I'll give you guys a better look here in a minute on this. Let's see if I can't get my hand first. There we go. Finish tightening all these up. Radio's in there pretty solid. So now I'm just going to double check the placement of the microphone and the cable. Then we're just going to re clip everything back into place. That looks pretty good like that. And that's it. Put the radio on. good so I'm good with that so there we go it's working pretty good we're just gonna put the other speakers in I thank you guys coming along on that real quick project of putting the radio into the truck have a great day guys bye